Resident Evil 8 hands-on preview. Oh, that's right, baby. J-Rock is here because we got to check out these five hours of gameplay from IGN. So you know what to do. Come on back. We got to check this out. What is happening, Nin Nin? Nin Nin with the millions. <laughs> and millions of J Rock fans from all over the world, baby. J Rock is here because we got ourselves IGN's five hours of hands on gameplay from Resident Evil Village. Resident Evil 8. Um, and apparently they're going to give us a little bit more, you know that they've actually played the game and got their hands. You know, J-Rock played the demo. Uh, and I, I got to the part where Ethan uh, and the girl, uh, if you didn't get to this part, sorry. Uh, Ethan and the girl, they escaped. Ethan was trying to ram the truck through the house, but he just couldn't get there, so they had to go up. And then the girl's dad, who had transformed into a freaking lichen, vampire, werewolf, whatever, um, came trying to climb back upstairs but you know and the girl went down there of course checking on her dad make sure he's all right both of them end up falling to their fiery death ethan escapes the house and i got to the part where you put the little circle emblem in there and you rotate it and you make your like you're going away to the on your way towards the castle i got to that part um i think that that's where the demo would have cut off even if i still had time um i don't know but unfortunately my time ran out so i couldn't say definitively or not if somebody else got further than that drop it in the comment section let me know what else was there you know um so but yeah yeah the the, the demo was, was was good it was smooth it was crisp uh because i saw some gameplay you know a while ago that really concerned me and didn't look as crisp but anyway we're gonna check out these five hours from uh good old ign but first if this is your first time coming back first time one more again coming back to the great ones channel yeah that's what i said i said it right first time coming back well if you're a first timer either or doesn't matter uh go ahead and hit that subscribe button for j rocks the great one and do it now while they are chanting j rocks next <laughs> Now that you've hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that like button. Comment down below where you found the Great Ones channel and share. And let the world know that the YouTube people's champ, J Rock, is here. All right? Uh, also, if you got a reaction request, something you want me to check out, drop it down in the comment section below. I'll give you a shout out if I choose your request, right? And be sure to hit that bell so that you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Let's check out this hands on preview, all right? someone please tell me what the hell is going on here no the place is full of nothing but blood and death yeah remember that voice this preview is based on ign's world exclusive hands-on with the first five hours of resident evil village at capcom's headquarters in japan we played mainly on ps5 as well as the ps4 pro version Our hands-on with Resident Evil Village starts out quietly. As Ethan Winters, the protagonist of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, we walk through a snowy landscape in the middle of the night. No action, no cutscenes, but it's already eerie and full of tension. Before long, we arrive at an open point that looks over the village, with the atmospheric Castle Dimitrescu in the background. It felt like an instant classic video game moment, Village's expertly crafted environmental storytelling making an impression right from the start. But the exhilarating action soon follows. While it is a direct sequel to Resident Evil 7, Village's mechanics borrow a lot of ideas from Resident Evil 4, and when equipped with a handgun and a knife, I was able to throw enemies off balance by shooting them in the leg and follow up with a blade, or kick them away after a well-timed block. I didn't know you'd do that! With limited ammo, I decided to run from my lichen attackers. Lichens are roughly equivalent to the zombies of previous games in the series. I entered a house and blocked the entrance by throwing a shelf into I like the you can door, do that. another Resi 4 mechanic. Of course, the next moment, a lichen pried open the door and proceeded to throw me to the floor. Once the lichens finally left me alone, the gameplay became more puzzle-centric. 
preventing the otherwise seamless route to the castle from being too easy. Villagers' early puzzles feel like any classic Resident Evil game, except that here you'll have to interact with the villagers in order to solve them. Mm. The village is dotted with small secrets, and there were plenty of directions I could have headed, and I also could have happily spent more time exploring. Huh. The castle Dimitrescu was waiting. After some horrific detours, I finally made it inside the castle, ruled by the internet's favourite nine foot six giantess, Lady Dimitrescu, and her three bloodthirsty daughters. Ethan is brutally tortured by the four dominant women in a cutscene the moment he enters the castle, which makes the premise of a relatively weak man hunted by much stronger women clear right away. Wherever you go in the castle, Lady Dimitrescu or one of her daughters is always nearby, patrolling the premises in real time. Lady Dimitrescu lets out an elegant laugh whenever she notices Ethan, and seeing her slowly walk towards you leaves a lasting impression. You'll have to consider her long reach when evading attacks, and if you're backed into a corner, her size makes it difficult to find a way out. In one section, you have to lure her to different corridors to get around her for just long enough to open a door before she eviscerates you. I love how Capcom has found ways to make oh, no. so much more than just a visual spectacle. Before even thinking of finding a way to face Lady Dimitrescu, you'll have to deal with her three daughters, who are much more agile and elusive, creating an entirely different fright. Each daughter has a particular common weakness, but the varied situations in which you fight them result in mini-boss battles that all play out differently. This design philosophy reminded me of a Zelda dungeon that has the player solve different puzzles with the same item. <laughs> I'm already stressed out thinking about her. If not too difficult, I gradually gain more access to different areas of the castle. For just one area in a bigger game, Castle Dimitrescu feels surprisingly expansive, and getting lost was always more fun than frustrating. Evading specific recurring enemies while solving puzzles reminded me of the Baker family. In I don't like that, man. Why are you following me? Much more over go on! Go on somewhere! Go on! Go on with that bull, man. I'm trying to find and my daughter. Dimitrescu has more to offer than just Lady Dimitrescu and her daughters. Certain parts of this area have you fight against a large number of enemies, resulting in an action-packed experience that felt closer to Resident Evil 4 than to 7. Enemy types vary depending on the location, such as flying creatures in a rooftop area, and I was forced to adapt my playstyle along the way. And don't ask Damn. why, but weapon merchant Duke has a convenient room on the first floor. You'll be coming back to Duke to buy ammo and upgrade your weapons again and again. Another aspect that feels similar to Resident Evil 4. God, man. After being relentlessly hounded by Lady Dimitrescu and her daughters, I felt a sense of relief every time I saw his jolly face. Duke proves that there is more to Villager's character design than just the super memeable Lady D. While 2005's Resident Evil 4 revitalized both the Resi series and the modern third-person shooter, for some fans, the action-packed gameplay was a step away from the survival horror experience they had come to love. What makes Castle Dimitriscu so remarkable is that it manages to deliver Resident Evil 4's action and Resident Evil 7's dedication to survival horror in one package. One moment you are running helplessly from a giant mistress. Oh and man, I see away with your shotgun and a multitude of smaller enemies. Come on, man, what? Four hours inside Castle Dimitris, oh. which is only one chapter in a much larger game. If the rest is as diverse and robust as Castle Dimitrescu, Village might just become a new favorite for Resident Evil fans of all stripes. Resident Evil Village is set to release on May 7th. For more Village, check out our PS4 Pro gameplay footage, catch up on Capcom's latest showcase, and look out for more throughout April from IGN First. J-Rock says this. Do you, smell what the you know, it was Resident Evil the remake on PS4 Pro that I was playing where Mr. X was stalking me, right? And they did a good job with the whole horror aspect of it because you could hear the footsteps. Right? Now, the good thing is that he never ran, but it, it, it felt like he was running. Because it seemed like every time you turn around, day was. I mean, this joker was taking big steps. You know, like, you know, when I was a kid and my daddy, you know, 
Daddy would take big steps. Me, I'm taking these little bitty steps, Daddy. Is. And he's covering more ground, even though I'm taking more steps. I'm like, God, oh, man. I got to run and keep up with this joke. You know, but that's that's what it felt, felt like. And then you go to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. You know, when you're in the house and... Um, I can't I, I can't remember the, 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 the father's name, but he just pops up out of nowhere. He's stalking you. Um, the the mother out when you got outside, she wasn't as bad as the father. Right? Like the only time you really fought her, uh well, you know what? I take that back. Because she had the freaking lantern. So no, she was bad. It was the son who wasn't really all that bad. Uh, but I, I just hated that whole stalking aspect, like them just stalking you, right? You know, you know, it's like, ah, now I know how criminals feel when Batman show up. Like, yeah, he just stalking. He know where you at, planning this move. What? Wait a minute. But anyway, man, this, I'm going to have a lot of fun playing this game. I'm going to be... I know there's gonna be a lot of jump scares in here, and uh, man, I, I'm already stressed out. I'm not even gonna lie. But you know what? J Rock is going to do what J Rock does best, and that is layeth the smack of downeth on their Rudy Poo. Ah, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Post your comments down below and let J Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video no rhyme intended on that line if you enjoyed the great one's reaction hit that like button subscribe and share if you did not j-rock says take a stroll down know your roll boulevard hang that right on jabroni drive and check your rudy poo candy ass directly into the smackdown hotel thank you for joining j-rock until next time Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. If you smell what well, J Rock is.